Dear Diary, since people will view this diary long after I'm gone, I want to suggest for anybody who watches this in the future and who is disgusted as I am by what they're seeing and by what happened to me. I want to suggest what they can do in remembrance of me. When I worked for this company all these years I had health insurance which of course I never used but I also had life insurance. Since I don't have any family I left or I was going to leave that life insurance to an organization called the Innocence Project. That's who I always had set up to get my life insurance. The Innocence po Project is an organization that helps people who are falsely imprisoned. And it's kind of ironic because for all these years I've been having them on deck to receive my life insurance and I've supported them any way I can already and here my life is going to be ended when I was innocent so they're not going to get my life insurance anymore so if somebody wants to donate in remembrance of me I highly recommend that you look at the Innocence Project I know there may be a time or two here and there when it seems like they might be helping to get somebody off who may in fact be guilty you need to look at those very closely some of these cases are extremely complicated I can only promise that I personally would never support an organization that deliberately or through neglect has a habit of getting people released who were in fact guilty. Everything I have seen about them over all these years indicates that they are doing everything they can to try to exonerate people who were falsely accused and there's a huge long list of people who have spent decades in prison only to find out that DNA evidence proves beyond any doubt that they had nothing to do with it. They were falsely imprisoned. All of, Their whole life was taken away. And this is the only organization I know of out there that is dedicated to getting justice for these kinds of people. So please, I do ask anyone out there to support the Innocence Project. That's not an organization that would be able to help me in this case. This is for people who get sent to prison, not people who are murdered when they're innocent. Murdered by their own employer. But... they're doing good work because if you're sent to prison for something you didn't even do well I can't imagine how that would eat away at you because this is nothing short of a solitary confinement cell that I never deserve to be stuck in I should be at this time of day I should be at the office I should have been at work for the last four hours at my desk, doing my job, pleasing my customers, making the company money, earning the money I need to survive. That's what should have been happening the last four hours instead of me sitting and sweating in this car and being chased around by all these weirdos who keep coming up to me. In my little isolated prison cell here that doesn't even have a bed, <clears throat> doesn't even have a toilet. So if someone wants to remember me, I highly recommend you look at the Innocence Project. I can't think of any other charity that's worth giving to. In terms of the way that so many charities mismanage funds. Also though, I would ask that anyone who recognizes just how unjust this is, how how much of a vicious this attack is as anything you see in these true crime documentaries where some guy just nabbed some girl from the street. There, there was one woman, Carol, there in Syracuse, New York. She's out just having fun at night, walking around, 
some guy grabs her, beats her to the point where when her body was found, they didn't even know what race she was, and then sticks an M80, which is a quarter of a stick of dynamite, up her private place and blew it up. And this woman survived for many hours later. The guy who did that is a demon from hell. And what these people did to me, in principle, is at that level. Look at what I'm going through when I should be sitting at a desk doing my job right now. So in that spirit, I ask that people also contact any media you know. If you know writers, if you know screenwriters, if you know journalists, there's so much corruption in the mass media out there, they don't cover these things. But there are people who will cover it. Tell them. Tell them what went on. Send them to this diary so they can see who I was. And go to the government. Go to the FBI. Go to the U.S. Justice Department. Go to the Justice Department here. It's, it's pointless, but go to the Justice Department in Minnesota and New Jersey. And tell them. Because when I die, the name of this company will be well known. Tell them, you want a full investigation and you want people held accountable. You do not want someone to have their life completely destroyed like this in this assault without anybody being held accountable or punished. And tell everyone else you know. Give them the link to this diary channel. And especially point out that video where I ask people to go to the U.S. House Committee on Education and the Workforce <clears throat> and have them contact members of that committee, as many members as they can, by whatever means they can, and tell them, I agree, I agree, human resources is out of control. They are a destructive force. They are damaging. They attract the worst psychopaths in our society, this can't be allowed to stand anymore. It can't be allowed to happen anymore. It's got to go. It's got to stop. You either need, if there's some way to outlaw human resources, it needs to go. If not, they need to be heavily regulated and monitored. And there needs to be set punishments for human resource officers who abuse this authority they have to just go out and destroy the lives of people because they don't like the cut of their jib. Also, at the same time, employment at will needs to go. This is a fundamentally stupid concept from the very beginning. They keep framing it, using rhetoric and propaganda to frame it in a way that sounds like it's great. Well, you get to leave a company whenever you want to without giving notice as well. It's like, well, duh, you should be able to leave. The one with the, in terms of power, the employee has no power. The company has all the power. You should always be able to leave that company whenever you want to because you have no power to begin with. But to say that the company that already has all the power can just fire anybody without providing any reason, they don't even need a reason to do it, that is just handing them on a silver platter the legal ability to attack and assault and kill people. Employment at will needs to go. And these people who exploit this to hurt and to harm and to assault and to murder other people, they need to be held accountable. Because what they're doing is insult with intent to kill. You can frame it in terms of business till the end of time. Well, it's just human resources. It's just employment at will. This is perfectly legal. No, this is a personal assault with the intent to kill. That human resource department knew that this was a death sentence for me. And they did it anyway, with no justification whatsoever. I don't care what employment at will says. I don't care what human resources is. This was an assault with intent to kill. So please, if you want to do something after I'm gone, do something with these issues. Support the Innocence Project for the benefit of people who are put in prison for crimes they didn't commit. And don't forget, by getting them released, that might help to reopen the cases so they can actually find the real perpetrator and punish the correct person. Just like in this case, instead of me being punished and getting the death sentence, 
these people in human resources and this backstabber can finally get what they deserve. Because I'm not getting at all what I earned by working hard and honestly all these years. What they have earned is prison. And it's obvious that I'm not going to be the one to put them there. So I'm asking anybody who watches this in the future after I'm gone, please do your part. Care enough. And that's what you can do. No, there's one other thing you can do. There's one other thing you can do. Spend some time looking in a mirror. Not like a narcissist. Don't be like narcissists and just stare at your reflection in the water all day thinking of how beautiful you are. But look in a mirror and just say, none of us are perfect. And that's okay, because that's just what we are. But what can I do to make my life matter in this world by helping other people? Instead of only thinking about myself, I was going to buy that $2,000 diamond ring. And all it's going to do is sit there on my finger or sit in a box. But at best, it's going to sit on this finger and I'll walk around and every once in a while a light will reflect and it'll gleam. And some people will look at it and go, oh, wow, that's amazing. That's so beautiful. And most people are going to go and look at it and think, gosh, man, how beautiful badly do you need attention and ask yourself do I really need to spend that two thousand dollars on that I was willing to part with the two thousand dollars for this ring how can I use this two thousand dollars to help improve or even save another person's life instead that's something I can carry with me for the rest of my life as a point of honor There's so much people can do to help others out there. I've tried so hard to help others, and I get thwarted every time by monstrosities like this backstabber and human resources. So you can do that as well in remembrance of me. Look around you and see what you can do to help people out there. Whether it's homeless people, or people you know, or people in your church, or people you just run across, or people you hear where they have a need and you might be able to help meet it try it you might like it because I'm telling you folks there is no better feeling in the world than knowing that you helped another person and I don't need anyone in the world to know about it I didn't want to create a diary channel like this where I'm telling people what I'm doing for other people I don't want that I want to do it and I want it to be between me and them like the Bible says don't let your left hand know what your right hands doing I'm not doing this to impress other people. I'm doing it because it's the right thing to do. So that's something else you can do in remembrance of me. And to everyone who does any of those things or all of those things, thank you.